Hey, what's going on? Luke here. And anytime I use Tim fullbacks, it's guaranteed to be at least a half decent video, at least a very popular video. But the thing is, the team is super outdated. I still had players like Roger Tulvas, a Shag, I still had Nico Hines, still had plenty of guys who either aren't in the NRL or are playing other positions. So it was time to do an update. It was time to give the fullback side a little bit of a facelift and do a little bit of an update for 2023 and then go ahead and play a game against a brand new side that was brought in in 2023, and that is the Dolphins. So sit back and enjoy as we see the new fullback side, the 2023 version of the fullback side take on the Dolphins. I was going to say the Redcliffe Dolphins, but it's just the Dolphins. I'm obviously going to be playing as the fullback side, and in previous games and previous years, I've always said that the fullback side is one of the most overpowered sides I've ever used on Red League Live 4, and I believe it will still be the case in 2023. The only difference was that I was playing on veteran difficulty, whereas now I'm playing on legend difficulty, so it is going to be a little bit harder, but I still think the scoreline should be pretty good and pretty favorable for me. Now, we're just about ready to take a look at the game against the Dolphins, but before we do so, I need to mention if you happen to enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Super important to get those likes up. The more likes, the better, essentially, and that goes hand-in-hand hand with subscriptions as well. We're on the road and we're on the push to 15,000 subscribers, so if you can leave a like and, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that'd be very, very much appreciated. Like I said, the more likes, the better, so definitely go ahead and help me out there. Also, speaking of people helping me out, shout out to all the members. You're seeing them on the screen right now. A lot of familiar faces there. A lot of people saying they're going to become a member very, very soon. If you'd like to do so, it would greatly help out the channel. You get the feature in videos like you're seeing right now as well as super chatters as well. Um, shout out to every single one of you. When I'm streaming, I get a real kick out of it. Um, obviously, it makes my day and it makes the whole chat stay. Like the chat goes off whenever there's a super chat. So if you'd like to, go ahead and super chat and also become a member of the channel. Also, I need to mention, give me a follow on social media. I'm seeing it on the screen right now. Been uploading on TikTok a fair bit. Been uh, been popping off a little bit. So if you haven't already followed me over there, go ahead and do it. I've um, been posting a little bit. Same as Instagram as well. Give me a follow, give me an ad, do all that sort of stuff. Now we can take a look at the game. So here we are once again on Rugby League Live 4, once again playing with a team of fullbacks, but this time it's a 2023 lineup. So things are a little bit different and to sort of represent that it is 2023, we're taking on the Dolphins. It's got the Redcliffe Dolphins logo there, as you can see, but it's just the Dolphins. They're going quite good in real life. They actually have uh, the hammer featuring in this side, but we're playing at Legend Difficulty, which is something we haven't really done when we played with the fullback side, but I think it's fitting. We absolutely tear outside the fullback side, so I need to try something different, so... Legend difficulty it is. Seven minute halves like normal though. So uh, look, that's enough. Let's just get into the game. So Suncorp Stadium, Dolphins obviously play there sometimes. Obviously they play at Redcliffe as well. Um, but this is what I would say is probably their, I don't know, their home stadium, I guess. It's not the exact one that they're building in real life. Obviously Milford um, is playing at the moment. But I think this is like the strongest one that they had from when they were winning at the start of the season. Obviously a few changes here and there. Um, obviously the, the young dude is a bit of a uh, bit of a sensation score, two tries. I've just totally blanked on his name, but the rugby union guy, he's not in there. But look, the more important thing and the more important part of this video is we're playing with a fullback side, a lot of new faces, your Lockie Millers and such. Um, look, let's just see if we can get the dub here. Not, not if we can get the dub. Let's just see how big of a dub we can get. Who Jermaine Asako easily in previous years could have been featuring in our side that we're, we're fielding at the moment. Maybe not just like ability-wise, but um, definitely could have been there. But he gets the game going. Big hit on Teddy. I'm used to just running at gaps and just going for it. And I don't think it's going to be the case on Legend. Here we go. Offload. Here we go. Here we go. Pump. Oh, Meanie. Give it to Walsh. Just run it. Quick hands. Grubber. The Grubber is cracked on him. Let's go. Dylan Edwards is going to score in the corner. Hammer coming across. Their Hammer, I should say. We go and score. A nice little try there. A little bit of a cheesy try, but... Hey, it was a tough, it was a tough attacking set. So I would say maybe like a little bit of a controversial pick in the side in Papenhaus considering he's not really played this year. But I had to chuck him in there. He is our goal kicker and he's kicked the bloody goal. Oh no. Oh no. What is that pass? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Rabbit League Live 4. That is, that is something. I'll honestly be very, very shocked if we can hold them out here, especially in Legend Difficulty. Yeah, there they just stepped this. Oh, and you and Aiken can't get over. Tackle it. Oh, we actually we actually drove him back. That was nice. Tackle him. He's, don't fall over the line. Don't fall over the line. Okay, he's on his back. How we've managed the fifth tackle, I don't know. No, come on. Come on. Tackle it. We've held him up. That, that's good defense. Oh, go. Teddy. Teddy. Oh, I had support there. Latrell was right there, man. Oh, here, oh, Puppy and a high tackle on Puppy. They're getting frustrated, the Dolphins. Come on. Oh, and a big hit on Lockie Miller. Ponga. Quick hands. 
Quick hands into the gap. The hammer scores against his own team. The hammer, it's over. It's hammer time. It's way too easy. Fins up. Not really, but the hammer scored, so I had to, you know, I had to do it. So 10 nil. Can it become 12? This is actually going a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. And we've kicked the goal 12 nil. Here we go. Quick hands, quick hands. There we go. It's Brimson. Brimo. Brimo gets tackled by the hammer. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Pick it up. Pick it. Oh, it's not six to go. That's unlucky. It's kind of shit play, but sort of unlucky too. Drive him back, Teddy. Uh oh. Yes, get. Oh, it's six to go. How's that six to go? How? I did not play the ball. I didn't try to catch the ball. The Lisha just pegged it at me. Yes, big hit over the sideline. Hopefully, it was going over the sideline, anyways. But that's karma because they shouldn't have had the ball. It should be a, it should be an easy try, to be honest. There we go, 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 go. Are they going to catch us? I tried to do a little pass, but I was, I was trying to make sure it got to, uh, got to our winger here, which is Dylan Edwards. He's already scored one. Dylan Edwards, Dylan Edwards. He's so good, man. Our hammer, our hammer. Marky Nichols drops him. Oh, up the wing, up the wing, up the wing, up the wing. We palm them all forever. Nick, me, Nicholas, me, me. That's Bulldogs legend Nick Meaney. We made him, man. I'm used to sort of sitting here and being up like 18-0 and then going, wow, this is so easy, but it's kind of expected. We're playing with the cheesiest, most overpowered side in the whole game, which is a team of fullbacks. Oh, a lot of space there with Lucky Miller. Lucky Miller, go on, Miller. It's not Miller time, man. Wasn't really trying to do that. Oh, hammer, nearly got through the gap. We get set there by their hammer. Yes, what are they? they didn't even attempt to put up a kick there. Come on. Oh, I was going to say one last try for half time would have been ideal, but whatever. 18 0. It is what it is. We're, we're in cruise control at the moment. Definitely can attack a lot better, but look, the, the Dolphins are defending quite well as well. Second half to get going. More of the same, please. If we can hit 30, I feel like that, that's a good pass mark for us there. It's interesting to me that when I played on Veteran, guys like Tommy and Latrell and all that, they're unstoppable in the forwards and you make a line break with them and then they're just drawing past but it's just not really the same we're having a lot of success with actually the outside backs and oh look at pop now it's breaking the tackle but it's the guys like the hammer up against his own team who are causing a lot of inroads it's gonna try and kick with drinky but it just hasn't worked out but this has this certainly has nick meany tackled this time scored a try in a very similar fashion a lot of space for reese walsh i think we can get around yeah there we go Let's just get the ball. This is going to be a try. It's going to be a try. Whoever wants to pick it up, it's Tedesco. Doesn't score in real life these days, but he scored. And I was going to say a nice try just by default. It wasn't a nice try at all. It's pretty terrible. Reese Walsh setting that one up. Little puppy. Hopefully, little puppy. Hopefully, we see him again in 2023, even 2024. Just in general, I want to see Puppy Nazan again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go. There we go. Get on the outside. Dylan Edwards. We just draw in the hammer. Dylan Edwards is over for a second. Let's do a little taunt. I feel kind of bad. I think he just did a fins up. I think he just did a fins up. Ryan Poppenhausen again. There we go. Little puppy. Kicks the guard. 30 no. Here we go. Lucky Miller. Lucky Miller. Drift it back again. Lucky Miller sucks as a hooker. Oh, no, they've, they've, uh, they've read me. They read me like a book. Intercept it. There we go. Uh, I took the bait. I thought they were going to throw the pass. And we dropped the ball. We dropped the ball. I'm surprised it hasn't happened more often, to be honest. Oh, I thought we are going to get stepped. I literally prepared for us to just get sat there. Oh, they tackled us. Oh, my God. They're over. It's, it's Tabio Ifedo. It's the hammer. Their fullback scoring. It's just a fullback -a Our hammer scores. Their hammer scores. It's hammerception. In a way, that's kind of a win for us. Because... In the end, it's a fullback who scored. A sucker kicks the goal. 36. I mean, a trial was coming. It was inevitable. The grubber kick is so effective on this game. We've scored from one ourselves already. So, just, just proves the point. The fullbacks are the best. And also, the grubbers are the best. Knock on. Knock on. Let's go. This is a trial for us. Let's just go. Oh, I thought we are just going to go puppy. We could have easily scored. Here's a, here's a try. Here's a try. Here's a try. Oh, they've just overrun it. They've overrun the play. And they've got actually going to score. Talking about tries, they're going to score against this. Tessie knew, just palming us off there. Oh, I literally was going for the tackle there. How did we not make the tackle? Well, ain't that some shit? I definitely was making the tackle there. In fact, I was trying to go for a big hit. It just registered absolutely nothing. And the Dolphins go over again. 
Oh, high shot. I was just going for like a big highlight play into the game. Hopefully a big hit. It was a big hit. We just we just might have killed him though. There we have it. Full time. Not quite the 50 nil scoreline to such that I was putting on the adventure difficulty. But at the end of the day, a win to win. We scored 30 points. And I think I said it earlier, if I hit 30, that's about a pass mark. And that's exactly what we did. In fact, like, you know, the hammer scoring for them. And prove my point. I mean, the other guy scoring, it kind of doesn't really go with it. But look, 30 to 12, easy win. But what a game, what a win. Not quite as dominating as it has been in previous years. But like I mentioned at the start of the video, I think that's more so down to the fact that it's gone from veteran to legend. Just the gaps aren't there. Like if the gaps are there, I still had some of the same players. Still had Tommy, still had the troll, still had Teddy, still had all those sort of guys. So in theory, it should have been, you know, just as good. But look, we put 30 points on them. I'll take that on legend difficulty every single day of the week. Now, if you happen to enjoy that video, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole stick I did at the start of the video. Just go ahead. Leave a like, subscribe. You know you want to, especially if you made it through this far in the video. Also, go ahead and check me a follow on social media. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke and YT. Like I said at the start of the video, again, give me a follow on TikTok. We've been posting on that a little bit. Same as Instagram. I think Snapchat and, and Twitter there as well. So if you'd like to give me a follow and give me an ad, just go ahead and do so. Other than that, I've got nothing else to say. So let's end the video here. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more content on the channel. Let's see you in the next one. See yous.